This is question 6. The question says the angular momentum of an electron in hydrogen atom for n is equal to 4 is. And there are 4 options h by 2 pi, 3 h by 2 pi, h by pi or 2 h by pi. Dear students, as per the Bohr's postulate, the angular momentum of an electron in hydrogen atom is an integral multiple of h by 2 pi. Here n is the integer. Now in the given question, n is given to be equal to 4. And if we substitute the value of 4 in this expression, we can write down that L will be equal to 4 into h by 2 pi. This will be equal to 2 h by pi. And hence, for this question, the correct answer is option number D, that is 2 h by pi. Now, let us proceed to the next question. This is question 7. The question says, a capillary tube of radius r in length 3h is immersed in water. The water rises up to a height h, the corresponding mass is m. What mass of water will rise in the capillary if the radius of the tube is halved? And the four options are m, m by 2, 2m and 4m. Dear students, the height of capillary rise is given as 2p cos theta by rho g r, where t is the surface tension, theta is the angle of contact, rho is the density of the liquid, g is the acceleration due to gravity and r is the radius of the capillary. Now herein it is given that the radius of the capillary becomes half, that is the new radius r dash is equal to r by 2. Dear students, we can write down that h dash by h that is the ratio of heights will be equal to r by r dash and this will be equal to 2, meaning that h dash will be equal to 2 into h. So, the height attained becomes double. However, we have to comment on the mass that is in the capillary. The students, the ratio of masses that is m dash by m will be equal to the density multiplied by the volume and their respective ratio. That is rho into a dash h dash by rho into a into h where a dash and a are respective area of cross section of the capillaries. Please note that as the radius becomes half, the area which is pi r square becomes one fourth. So, we can substitute a dash by a to be equal to 1 by 4 and h dash by h to be equal to 2. So, this will be equal to half giving us a value that m dash will be equal to m by 2 and hence half of the initial mass will be there in the capillary tube. Therefore, for this question, the correct answer is the second option that is m by 2. Now, let us move to the next question. This is question number 8. The question says, the least count of a vernier caliper is 0.01 centimeters and 10 divisions of the vernier scale is equal to n divisions of the main scale. The value of n will be, it is given that one division of main scale is equal to 1 millimeter. And there are four options, 6, 9, 10 and 12. Dear students, the least count of a Vernier caliper is equal to 1 main scale division minus 1 Vernier scale division. It is given that the least count is equal to 0 0.01 centimeters and there are 10 divisions of the Vernier scale which are equal to n divisions of the main scale. Therefore, we can write down that 10 of VSD is equal to N of MSD. Furthermore, 1 VSD will be equal to N by 10 MSD. If this is equation 1 and this is equation 2, we can substitute the value of VSD from equation 2 in equation 1 and write down that the least count will be equal to 1 MSD minus N by 10 MSD and this will be equal to 10 minus n by 10 msg. Now, dear students, msg here that is the main scale division is given to be equal to 1 millimeter. So, this will be 10 minus n by 10 into 1 millimeters and this is given to be equal to 0 0.01 centimeters. Now, dear students, we know that 1 millimeter is equal to 0. 1 centimeters. So, we can simplify this expression and write down that 0 0.1 will be equal to 10 minus n by 
n and furthermore on solving we can write down that n will be equal to 9 and hence for this question the correct answer is option b that is 9. Now let us move to the next question. This is question 9. The question says the magnetic susceptibility of a medium is minus 0.08. What will be its relative permeability? The options are 1.8, 1.08, 0.08 or 0.92. Dear students, here in the magnetic susceptibility that is xi is given to be equal to minus 0.08 and we have to find out the value of relative permeability. We must know that the relative permeability is equal to 1 plus xi and if we substitute the value of xi in this expression we can write down mu r to be equal to 1 minus 0.08 that is it will be equal to 0.92. Therefore for this question the correct answer is option d that is 0.92. Now let us proceed to the next question. This is question 10. The question says which among the following quantities is always negative for a particle executing SHM? The symbols have their usual meanings r vector dot v vector, v vector dot a vector, a vector dot r vector or r vector cross v vector. Dear students, in an SHM the acceleration is written as minus omega square r vector. In other words, the acceleration is always directed opposite to the position vector. And since the acceleration is directed opposite to the position vector, a dot r is always a negative value. Regarding the other options, r dot v can be negative or can be positive. Dear students, for example, if this is the mean position, and the particle is situated here that is this is the r vector then the particle may be moving in this side or in this side that is if this is the extreme position. Thus the velocity may be directed along the radius vector or opposite to the radius vector therefore the dot product may be positive or negative as well. Similarly v dot a may be negative or positive. If a particle is moving in this direction and this is the mean position then the acceleration will be in this direction and in this position the particle may also be moving in this direction as well. Therefore the velocity may be either directed away from the acceleration or even in the direction of the acceleration. Thus a dot b may be negative or even positive and same goes for the last option that is r cross v. r cross v for a linear SHM is always 0 because they are along the same line that is the angle between r and v are either 0 or 180 degree. Dear students therefore for this question the correct answer is option c that is a vector dot r vector. Now let us proceed to the next question. 